Hey Summer Sprinters, it's day 10 of our challenge. Can you believe it's already ended? Oh my gosh, time is flying by. Okay, so I'm super excited because today we're going to be talking about closing the deal. All right, so I'm going to be talking about those three steps I have on how to do this. But first, I want to cover what you should be doing before you reach the point of closing the deal. And there's five little steps before my three-step close. All right, so I'm gonna just briefly cover those five steps that I'm hoping you're already doing before you reach the close. Okay, the first one is um, you've explained briefly what Plexus is, right? You gotta start somewhere. So that's one to two sentences to capture their attention. Two, you've asked them what their health goals are, okay? Three, you um, have based on those health goals, recommended to them a combination of Plexus products. And four, you have encouraged them to ask questions about those recommendations and then answer any of those questions. And usually that's going to lend itself to them asking about the cost of the product, right? So five, the last one, you then respond with their options on how to purchase Plexus products, right? Retail preferred ambassadorship. And you give them the costs associated with each one of those options and you ask them which option sounds best for them, okay? So those five things should be happening before you reach the close, right? So here is where the magic can happen. Here's my three-step close. Number one, you got to ask for a decision, right? You have to ask. Ask and ye shall receive, right? If you don't ask, what can happen in that conversation is it kind of dies down. And you've answered all these questions, right? You, some of you are probably shaking your head. Yes, I've had this happen to me. You, you've answered all their questions you've talked about, and then it just kind of goes silent. And you're like, hello, hello. Guys, you have to ask for a decision. A lot of times they're not going to be like, okay, I'm ready to join. Some people are. Okay, I'm ready to, to buy. Some people will do that. But most, of, most people need our guidance. They need us to go, okay, are you ready, right? Kind of give them that um, that green light, so to speak, to purchase, right? So you have to ask for a decision. That's step one. Step two is you have to overcome. So what do I mean by that? Well, let's say, for example, that this person um, doesn't say, yes, I'm ready. If they say, yes, I'm ready, then you've done a one-step close and it's awesome, right? Um, you go ahead and get them ordered or joined, right? But if they say, no, not right now, or, oh, I need to think about it, um, this is where step two comes into play. You have to ask them what's holding them back, okay? So how does that sound? All right, so if they say, no, I'm not really ready, just say, okay, no, I totally understand. Can I ask what might be holding you back from getting started? I want to make sure that all of your questions have been answered, right? Super simple, super friendly. What this allows you to do when they respond is it allows you to overcome their objection. Why? Because you know what it is, right? Knowledge is power. So let's say, for example, that someone says it's too expensive, right? We've probably heard that um, before. Um, I use the method called Feel, Felt, Found. And I discovered this through Sarah Robbins. Um, she's amazing. Uh, she has an awesome blog and um, video series that I highly recommend. Um, but it's called a Feel, Felt, Found method that's very effective when it comes to overcoming obstacles. So, for example, let's say that somebody says, Oh, it's too expensive. Um, here's how I might respond to that. I totally understand how you feel. I actually felt the same way when I was considering getting started. But here's what I found out. I realized that it was only going to be around $3.30 or $3.50 a day for me to do this. And I thought, hmm, that's more affordable if I looked at it that way. And I also went through my bank statement. And I looked through the past 30 days on what I spent on Cokes on prescription medicines, on doctor's visits, on junk food, on food that I wasted at the grocery store, right? And I realized how much money I was wasting. Here's what also I found out. Once I decided to actually do Plexus, within three months, I was saving $350 a month because of Plexus. And that's with me buying Plexus. I was still saving $350. It would cost me money not to be on Plexus, right? So feel felt found. Here's for another example. Let's say that maybe um, they just have a question, right? A lot of times when people say, no, they're not ready, um, it's usually because they have a question in their head that they fully don't understand the answer to. For example, let's say that they're considering becoming a preferred customer and they, um, they've got a question about that. And you say, 
okay, no problem, what's holding you back? And they say, well, I just want to make sure that if I need to, I can cancel these, these shipments. Like if I, if I, if I want to cancel the, the, the shipments, can I do that? Oh yeah, absolutely. You can cancel, pause, or edit your shipments at any time by calling customer service or going online onto your account. Super simple, no penalty, no charge, right? Answers their question, right? So step one, you got to ask for that initial decision. Step two, you have to ask them what's holding them back and overcome. And step three is you have to ask them again for a decision, right? You've already overcome their obstacle or obstacles. Now you got to ask them again. Don't let that conversation die off. Ask again. Awesome. Sounds like we got that cleared up. Are you ready to get started? I'm so excited for you. Are you seeing some repetition here, not only in the closing, but also in uh, the, the conversation before you reach the close? It's lots of questions. You have to ask them questions throughout the entire conversation. This is not your monologue, guys. This is more of an engaged interview with your friend to help them find the best fit for them, right? Closing the deal is all about excitement and having a sense of urgency. If you aren't excited, if you don't have a sense of urgency, if you're very like, yeah, okay, well then, you know, all right, well, if, you, if you're not ready, I'll, I'll follow up with you and, you know, in a couple days or, or, you know, a week or two or a month or, you know, what, if you don't have urgency, they're not going to have urgency. If you're not excited about the products, why would they? If, if you're not urgent about taking the products, why would they be urgent about taking the products, right? You want them to get started and you want them to want to get started. Don't let the conversation beat itself around the bush. All right, so here's where the fun part comes, the challenge. All right, here is where I'm going to challenge each of you to complete my just one challenge. I do this all the time with my team and it is so much fun and it really boosts momentum with all of us. Here's, um, well, let me explain what it is a little bit more. Um, it's a very attainable goal and it can really fire you and your team up. It's a short-term goal that can boost your confidence and your excitement. And guys, if you know me, you know that I believe if you're excited and you're confident, that is going to create an amazing positive energy. And when you have positive energy, guys, it's going to do wonders for your business. It's going to bleed into your teammates. It's going to bleed and permeate into your team. That positive energy is so important. Um, so here is the Just One Challenge. Okay, over the next five days, um, since you've already been talking to people, reaching out to people, following up, I want you to continue doing that and focus really hard, like laser focus, blinders on, right? Over the next five days, what are you focused on? On the next five days, you are going to be focused on adding at least one customer or one ambassador. But for this challenge, it's just one. So I want you to focus on just one over the next five days. Zero in, focus in. The challenge is adding just one, just one customer or just one ambassador. You guys can do it. When you've accomplished this goal, I want you to comment below and let us know so we can praise you. I want to see who's done this challenge and done it well over the next five days. All right. Also, one last thing. Please report back to, uh, to us on how many customers and ambassadors your Power Partner teams as a whole have signed during the course of this contest. And remember your three reach outs beyond the closing of the follow up. Okay. Um, all right. So go rock on team and do the just one challenge. I cannot wait to see who achieves this goal in the comments below. Hope you guys have a fantastic day. Take care.